One question that I get asked in clinic is, Dr. Edwards, are you going to be doing my surgery? The, the short answer is yes. But I wanted to just expound on that question. Like what happens when you come into surgery? What are the different roles of people in the operating room? And what is my role in the operating room? And how is your surgery done? So let's go through it. You arrive to the facility where you're having surgery. You get checked in and then you go back into what we call the same day surgery area. There's a nurse there that will place an IV and work through some labs, maybe some paperwork. And then you'll start meeting people from the surgical team. I will come in and talk to you and we'll do the surgical consent. We'll talk about any questions that you may have that came up since the last time we met and uh, make sure that we're all on the same page as to what surgery we're doing. You'll also talk to the circulating nurse who has a very specialized and defined role in the operating room, as well as your anesthesiologist. The circulating nurse will then take you back to the operating room and the anesthesiologist will help you go off to sleep. And then we call the orderlies. Now it's a team of people that help get you positioned on the bed into a safe position uh, maybe sometimes we have to roll over onto your belly and I want to take these group, this group home with me sometimes because it's like if you were finishing dinner and you just called the orderlies and had the dishes done in like 27 seconds, it would be amazing. But anyway, so now you're positioned for surgery. The anesthesiologist is there to keep you safe. The circulating nurse is there to protect the sterile field and to assist with anything that needs to be done, including answering the phone giving the anesthesiologist medication they may need, going out into the sterile core to get more instruments, etc. Now let's talk a little bit about the team that's scrubbing in. We have the surgery tech, the assistant, and me. That's who actually scrubs into the surgery. We've now prepped and draped and we're ready to go. I'm the one that makes the incision and I will be the one that does the dissection the um, decompression, the screws, whatever else we're doing at surgery, I do the whole thing beginning to end and close the wound. The assistant is there to help with retraction, with suction, and with cleaning off of instruments as we, as we use them. And then the surgery tech is there to help hand off the instruments and again, keep them clean and organized and ready to go the next time we need them. We work really closely together as a team and, and I think it's a good process. It's a good way to do it. If I was trying to do the surgery by myself, it would be a disaster because I need that help, both the assistant and the tech. The surgery tech's employed by the facility and we work with lots of really good surgery techs. I do, however, bring in the assistant. It's one of our nurse practitioners or PAs and I currently work with four and we work together each day in the operating room and I work with each one of them every week and I feel like we have a good working relationship in the operating room. So, I do the surgery, but I do it with a team that supports your care, and I think that it works really well so that we can provide good, standard, and excellent surgical care in the operating room.